Hey everyone, so today I'm back with another tutorial using the new Mary Kay Spring Palette. I just absolutely love these eyeshadow colors. I think they are so, so pretty. So today I'm using almost all four of them. I just didn't use this purple color. Um, I think my favorite color of this whole palette is the silver color. It's just so pretty where it has that like purplish pink undertone to it. It's so gorgeous. I did incorporate some other Mary Kay items to really make this look stand out. But I've mentioned those in the video and posted those below. You could probably just, I mean, I know you could just do this look alone with just this color and probably use this as the highlight instead of a crystalline that I used, but I have those shadows, so I went ahead and used them. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great, just out the door, more neutral look. Um, I know you're still wearing makeup, but it doesn't look like you've spent hours and hours doing it, so I just absolutely love it. If you have any questions, you can leave those below, and if you're interested in how I did this look, then just keep watching. Thanks! So we will start with Becca's Skin Shimmering Perfection, and I focus that on just my cheeks most, mainly, and then we go in with Mary Kay CC Cream and their Liquid Foundation. I mix those two together to get a really good coverage because the CC Cream is a little bit more sheer, so I add a little bit of the Liquid Foundation to make it um, more coverage and I just use a cosmetic sponge to put that on. Then I go in with my eyebrows and I use the Mary Kay brow pencil in Burnett. That just helps any gaps that I may have. So I do my next, when I do my next step which is the MAC Mystery eyeshadow then it'll adhere to that brow pencil in all those empty spaces. And then I just set that with my Mary Kay brow gel on both sides. And next I will prep my eyelids with concealer. I put a little bit on the lid and smear that out. And then I put a little bit up towards my eyebrow itself. And I use um, my finger to blend out what's on the lid. And then I take a flat thin brush to get up close to my eyebrow to really carve out that line. And I just take Mary Kay's White Lily eyeshadow and set that concealer all over my lid with a fluffy brush. Next I'm going to take Mary Kay's Metallic Taupe and just use a flat shader brush and put that on the lid of both eyes and then just go slightly into the crease but not too much. And then I'm going to take the new Mary Kay Into the Garden palette, which I'm obsessed with, and take that pretty silver color and just pat that um, on the lid right where we did that metallic taupe color. By putting down a colored base, the eyeshadow is a little bit more intense and will stick to it a little bit more. But same thing, you want to put it all over the lid and just go slightly into the crease to help blend it out a little bit. Then I'm going to take Mary Kay's Stone, which is a matte gray color, and take just a like pointed crease brush, I believe this one's from MAC, and go into that outer V and into the crease to help blend it out. You just kind of want to use a soft hand with this. You can make it as intense as you want to, but I kind of wanted to do more of a neutral everyday look, so I didn't do, twi uh, didn't do it quite as intense as what sometimes I do. Then next I'm going to go back in with that silver color just to make sure that it's nice and shimmery. And 
Then go back in with the fluffy brush and just make sure all the edges are nice and blended. You don't want anything harsh. You don't want any weird lines or any weird color. You just want everything really nice and blended. I'm even going to go back in with a little bit more of the White Lily to go right underneath the brow. Um, I will go in with a, another shimmer highlight, but that just kind of sets the nice base for it. Then I'm going to take NYX's Milk with a pointed pencil brush and go into the inner corner of the eye to help brighten it up. And that will be a nice pretty base for the Mary Kay pink color that I'll put right over that to really make that inner corner bright and pretty. I love doing this no matter what look I do, just putting some kind of bright color in that inner corner. It just really seems to wake up the eyes no matter what you're doing. It just gives a really nice look to the eye. Then next I'm going to take my Essence of Beauty pencil brush, so another pencil brush with that um, plum brown color from the Mary Kay palette. And I'm going to go underneath the bottom lashes with it, just kind of smudging it out a little bit, as well as um, on the top lashes just trying to get as close to the lashes as possible so that way it kind of smokes it out a little bit and makes your lashes look thicker without having to have like a, that really harsh eyeliner look. It'll just kind of smoke it out a little bit. Then I'm going to take that pencil brush again and do, go in with Crystalline right underneath that arc of the brow just to kind of lift it a little bit. This will also help clean up anything that you may have underneath there or just kind of brighten it a little bit more. Then I'll take Max Feline Cold Pencil and um, line both water lines with that. Now I'm taking Mary Kay's Pressed Powder and just setting my whole face. Then I'm taking Mary Kay's Bronzer and doing a little bit of contour, mainly just helping to warm up the face with it. And I'll take that all around my face in the three motion. And then I will take a fluffy brush and just help to kind of blend that out so it's not so harsh. Then I'm taking Makeup Forever's concealer in R22. And I put just a little bit on there and smear it out in a triangle shape. And then I'll first take my finger and kind of blend that out. Um, using padding motions you don't want to smear too much on it but using padding motions and you can see like that helps to clean up any messes or clean up that line on the outside edge of your eyeshadow do whatever you need to do but then I'll take a beauty blender and uh, make sure that's all nice and in the skin before you put any powder on it you want to make sure it's dry then I'll take Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer and just blend that out into the same triangle fashion that we did the concealer. Now I'm taking Mary Kay's Ripe Watermelon um, Cheek Duo and I'm using that pretty pink color again today on my cheeks. And then again just blend that out make sure it's not too close to the nose. I'll take Max Emphasize Powder and go right over where we did that concealer. It just helps to brighten up the area a little bit more. And then I'll take NYX's Liquid Illuminator and put that right on the highlights of my cheeks. I'll also put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm today I'm going to take the highlight of that cheek duo with my fan brush and go right over the places that we did that liquid illuminator on the tops of the cheeks, around to the corners of the eye, above the eyebrow. I'll also do down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the cupid's bow. I don't do quite as much as other people, but I like the look that it gives just to kind of waken the, uh, just to brighten up the face a little bit. That Becca Illuminator is awesome because I feel like it just gives a pretty glow to my skin with or without highlights. So it's really great. Then I'll take my Mary Kay Finishing Spray, spray my whole face. 
Now we're on to mascara. I'll use the Maybelline Pumped Up Mascara. And then I'll go right in with the Mary Kay Lash Love right over top of it on the upper and bottom lashes. Now to do my lips, I'll use the NYX Peekaboo Neutral Liner. And then I'll follow that up with the, my Mary Kay Pink Moonstone and finish it with the Coral Lip Gloss from the palette. Overall, I was happy with the lip combination that I chose. I just wish it had been a little bit brighter. But overall, it was really nice, and I love those lip glosses. So that is the finished look. Thanks. And that is the finished look. It's just a very neutral, everyday look. Um, you could easily do a baby pink lip with this and make it more spring-like or put some wispy eyelashes on whatever you want to do but I just absolutely can't say enough wonderful things about this palette um, it is just gorgeous and I love this silver color obviously but I hope you enjoyed this look I will probably I'm thinking about doing a makeup organization video if you're interested in that, you can let me know. I feel like over the last couple of years, I've found some really good things that have helped organize this stash. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you can let me know. I think I'm also going to be doing another tutorial that's more, way more dramatic. Um, those are my favorite looks to do, or ones that are just totally not everyday wearable but absolutely gorgeous so i think i'll be tw um, filming that maybe in the next week or so too but if you have any other requests you can leave those below thank you for watching please subscribe and i'll talk to you all soon bye